Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah wa ala ahlihi wa sobihi wa mawalah. Subhanaka la ilmalana ilama alam tana, inaka antal alimul hakim, wala fahmalana ilama faham tana, inaka antal jawadul karim. Alhamdulillah wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah. Subhanaka la ilmalana ilama alam tana, inaka antal alimul hakim. Wala fahmalana illa ma fahamtana inna kantal jawadul kirim. This is the part two of advanced jinn catching training. So when we finished bring the jinns of the patient. So what other jinns must we must we bring? So this jinn catching, of course, it is a tool to help treat the patients, but it is a tool to fight all the satanism and magic throughout the world. So we have to take this opportunity to look for as much jinns as we can to convert them to Islam. Subhanallah. I am surprised that some people say, why should we bring jinns that were not concerned with to convert them to Islam? Well, it is to save them from hell. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa has been sent as a rahmah for men and jinn and for all beings. Uh, how can we have the opportunity to convert them to Islam and not do it. That is not right. Uh, it is a gift, this catching. It is a gift that Allah Ta'ala has given us. So the more we use it to worship Allah, to do good, the more Allah Ta'ala is going to increase it. And the more we neglect. So th that is going to reduce the gift of Allah Ta'ala. So we have to use it for the maximum. And this global war against Satanism in the world, has no boundaries. We cannot stop anywhere. Well, you can do Rokia just for your living and just focus on treating your patients. But this is not the purpose of our group. We are here to fight Satanism and Shirk in the whole world and to bring the Islam to the whole world and to change everything in the whole world. And changing the world of jinns has an impact in the human's world because those who propagate evil in the world use genes very much and that works that does propagate evil so when we convert those genes and now they will be fighting for the sake of Allah and fighting the evil people and making positive waswas to people so that is part of the fight of Islam so once we have finished once we have brought the genes of the person until it is finished the next step is to bring the jinns in his house and family and work and all the people who did magic on him. That is his own environment. And that is necessary because if we don't bring them, when he will go back home, the jinns will come into him because it will be empty and the entrance will be there. So instead of having other jinns in the house, in his family, some of them will come to replace those. So we have to do it anyway. Same thing for the job. And also from the magician, because as long as there is magic with the patient, so that will have the, the, that will have an impact in the setup of the magician, and they will come to replace those genes that have been removed. So, and it is the opportunity for us to break the power and remove the genes of all the magicians who worked on this patient, even if the patient has gone himself to wrong people for help people that use shirk and jinns. It is an opportunity to remove their jinns, to convert them, and then we send them to fight those they were working for. So to bring the jinns of the family, the environment of the patient, we can just read Hurrimat, we can read Fafataqnahma, we can read Fakashafna, and we can look for the lover jinns. If the jinn, if the patient has lover jinns, so if the patient has lover genes, we can say, okay, let's get all the genes that want women or that want men or that want to be married. So we read women ayati, so they all come. Now, if you happen to do the catching for a group of people, so there has to be some lover genes. So that, especially when it is a group of people, it is an opportunity to go much further. So when we get the lover genes of the people, so once we have done the catching of the people, you will see that when we ask for lover genes, because lover genes hide in this in the private parts of the person, uh, 
So we need some special attention to pull them out and read Wamina Yatihi. And when we have them, we get all the other lover jinns that want women or men. And then we get the jinns from their ancestors that are following the family from generations. Now they can be active on the patient. They cannot. They can be they can just be waiting for an opportunity. They can be an, on other members of their families. But especially when it is a group of people, we're going to go up their lineage to get all the jinns that still have packs with their ancestors and that are following up on the family uh, to the good people into shirk to continue the shirk the ancestors have done. So we read Bara'aton for that. Then we ask for all the jinns who want blood. Now, any jinns that want blood, that are looking for blood, that, that are waiting to be hired by magicians, we read Horima to bring them. So then we can bring all the jinns that have any link with the magic uh, that has been done on all those people. So we, look, we tell the jinns to look at the magic, we read the five verses, وَقَدِمْنَا وَيُنَزِّلُ عَلَيْكُمْ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَا فَأَتَ اللَّهُ بُنِيَانَهُمْ بَرَاتٌ أَنْ قُلْ إِنَّ الصَّلَاةِ وَنُسُوكِ to break the magic and get all the jinns that have link with that magic. Now, when you are catching for the school and the girls are falling, so we read the, the jinns of the disorder, that jinns are waiting for one girl to shout, to scream, uh, so that they come for, from everywhere. So for that we read, وَخَشَعَةِ الْأَصْوَاتُ لَلْرَحْمَنِ فَلَا تَسْمَعُ إِلَّا هِمْسَا Then we get the jinns that work with the amils means the people who do shirk in the name of Islam. Not on the Amil side like that, but we are going to get the sh jinns of shirk that is done in the name of Islam. Uh, so, so we read, Because they come to them as Muslims when they are not Muslims to drive them astray. Then we get the spies. So the spy jinns are special jinns that are very fast so that the other jinns cannot see them. Uh, so we can have spies spying on our group, on our center, on our campaign, and and the uh, the, mm, the patients can have spies that uh, magicians have reported on them, or that come to from time to time to check if they're okay, if the magic has not been removed. Otherwise, they will inform the magicians. So to bring the spy, we read This verse is very special. Uh, because the spies, as I said, are very fast, they cannot be seen. It's like they have a vibration that is very high, uh, and the normal genes that have normal vibration cannot see them. So when we read Wallahumma Sakana, this vibration comes back to normal. They come back into normal dimension, into normal genes, uh, uh, normal speed. It is also good for those who are sleeping, who are, who are not active, and their vibration is so slow that the other genes also cannot see them. So that brings them back to normal. If you, if you encounter flying genes, so you read this, that will also settle them down. And then we look for any genes that are hiding, that you did not manage to catch. We read Yawmatubla Sarair to make them come out. And then we look for the genes that are stuck in the minds of people, that are part of their mentality. Uh, that are like merge with their personality. So we read Fitrat Allah to bring them. And then we look for the jinns who train the magicians, uh, who did the packs with the magician, introduced them to sorcery. So we also read Fitrat Allah. Because those jinns have so much blood, they have changed. And they changed into some powerful jinn that have ability to do magic and to do packs with the humans. So instead of doing Hurramat on pulling their, their blood, uh, bit by bit, when we read Fitrat Allah, it is the global change bringing him back to his first nature. Uh, and then, then we have the jinn that enable the, the magicians to transform. That means when the magician does satanic pacts, he, uh, when the magician does human sacrifice, he that is a level of magic where he merges with the shaitan. And that means that the shaitan can do human things like taking objects moving things, and that makes also that the human can do jinn things, like coming, attacking people in their dreams, and also turning into animals. So when they turn into animals, actually his sound goes with the shaitan, and that shaitan turns into an animal, 
and the sound of the magician is with him. So we read Fitrat Allah to make those jinns come back to nature and now the ruh of the magician is trapped and cannot come to him. So that is very important when you have these magicians that transform themselves. Then we look for the jinns in the forest, in the trees, in the mountains and under the rocks and we read the verse وَعِنْدَهُمَ فَاتِحُ الْغَيْبِ لَا يَعْلَمُهَا إِلَّهُ So of course all these things we don't do for an individual but when you have a group of people like a conference or, or many patients so that is an occasion that you will see when you do this catch and you get more and more and more jinns inshallah then the jinns of the water so we read فَوْحَيْنَا إِلَى مُوسَى نَضْرِ بِعَصَاكَ الْبَحْرَى then we look for the bosses all these jinns work for bosses and it is the bosses who go for the contest of the crown with Iblis. So uh, we must go up the bosses until we get those who go for the contest of the crown. When we get a jinn that goes for the contest of the crown, now we have to empty up all that contest. Uh, all the other participants, we must bring them to convert them. And the one who won the crown, we will bring him to convert him. And all the others who also have won the crown, we will bring them to convert them. And all the organizers of this competition will bring them to convert them. And then there's the sleeper jinns. So sleeper jinns were the bosses and had so much blood that they sort of retired. And they're not participating, but they're just... Uh, sleeping but when the setup of the magic and the shirk comes to be broken they will wake up to put it back so uh, we should not wait for these sleepers to wake up and to come change things so when we have got a lot of jinns so we we'll ask Allah to bring the sleepers that are there to replace them and we read for subhanallah hinatum soon and then we're going to also get catch the jinns that are afraid to be caught because some jinns will be seeing how to catch them, so they're afraid and they're hiding and they think, oh, I, I hope he's not going to think about us, I hope he's not going to find us. So just that fear will allow us to catch them, so we read wa amanahum min khawf to bring them. Then we look for the jinns that have any link with the patient, any kind of link, and we read the verse of spider, مَثَلُ الَّذِينَ اتَّخَذُوا مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ أَوْلِيَا To do like a cobweb, uh, like a network around the patient, anything that has any link with him. And then, so, we, we might need to get the jinns who work with the jinn. When we get the big jinns, when they start speaking about the jinn, uh, or if even if they don't speak about the jinn, when we have caught enough jinns, we we'll ask Allah to bring those who are preparing the coming of the jinn, those that we call Illuminatis. So we read Surah Kaf. You start reading and keep on reading Surah Kaf until it is, fetch, it is finished. Now, when we have any special jinn, like a boss, like a, like a sleeper, like a very old jinn, like a jinn that is in the shape of spider, uh, that is a special jinn that is used for magic when we encounter the special jinn, and it can take us some special effort to make him become Muslim, so we have to bring all the jinns of his category, all the other spiders, all the other uh, bosses, all the other kings, uh, uh, all the other referees, all the others that say that they're so close to Iblis, all the others that prepare the coming of the Jan. So anything special, uh, outs outstanding, that is with the jinn, we're going to bring, ask Allah to bring all the jinns that are similar to that, that have the same, that same ability or that same thing to bring them. So we read, uh, There are some jinns that have many heads, uh, there are some genes that are handicapped and they're specially used in magic to make the people ill. Uh, some genes also are dumb, cannot speak and that is also used in magic so that they cannot, so they cannot um, give us any information. Some genes don't have brain uh, so that they cannot think, they cannot understand and they use them for magic so they cannot become Muslim. Uh, some genes say they are red flying, that means they train the magicians. Uh, some jinns are sorcerers, some are kings, some are snakes, lions, mermaids, uh, some are uh, guardians, they are guarding something. So uh, any or kind of these special jinns, we have to bring all the similar jinns. 
So when we have a gene that is very difficult to convert, gave us a very hard time, but at the end is he is converted. So we must immediately bring all the similar genes and all those that have any link with him to convert them. Inshallah, that will be much easier than what we uh, all the struggle we have done for him. If we don't bring those genes, they will keep on attacking us, they will keep coming, they will keep on attacking the patient. The problem will not be over. So we have to go to the end of it, to the bottom of it, every time. Every time we can. We can. Now also, once we have all these genes, we can tell them, let's all read together, Allahu Nuru Samarwati Wal Ard, to make a great light to attract all the genes that are in darkness to bring them here. We can also read the Lumatum Ba'duha Fawqa Ba'd and tell the jinns to look at any darkness they can see anywhere and we're going to extract the jinns that are so deep in darkness that even those jinns we have brought cannot see them. So we read the Lumatum Ba'duha Fawqa Ba'd until they come. And we can also read La Tarka Bunna Tabaqan An Tabaq You will go from You will go from stage to stage. It is to make us go to other dimensions of the jinn's world. The jinn's world is like compartments. When you are somewhere and the jinn say finish no more jinn's, that is just their compartment. Uh, so it can be, for example, for the jinn's that work for the magicians when we bring them, uh, we'll ask Allah to bring their back bases, those who hired them, those who trained them, the sleepers that need to replace them, the uh, spies, the chiefs, those who go for the contest, those who train the magicians, so and those the commanders uh, who give the orders. So we read La Tarka Bunna Tabak and An Tabak to go from level to level, from dimension to dimension to bring a maximum of them. When we do a great campaign, be it in the Ta'ala, and many catches, often the rain will come as a help. You will see this rain coming. Uh, in an unexpected way and a very strong way, a rain, alhamdulillah. Very often the rain comes to help because it is a new rahmah, a new angel coming with every drop of, of water. So this rain will clean out all the magic that is on the surface of the earth, what they put in the roads, what they put in front of the houses, what they put on the crossroads, etc., will be cleansed. All that magic will be destroyed by the power of Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. As if we have spread Quranic water throughout all the city or all that region. So when we feel that this rain is helping us, we have to do catching for the jinns that feel the effect of the rains because it will be burning them and they will try to hide and to run away. And when if we have the confirmation that this rain has come as a rahmah for humanity and for all beings on earth, so now we need to catch for all the jinns that have felt the effect of this rain, all the bad jinns that feel the rain is burning them, it is the opportunity to bring them and convert them. And um, now the full moon is also a special time for catching. Full moon is a special time for jinns because magicians gather uh, very often at the full moon time and do their rituals. Now what is the reason, what is special with the full moon so that the magicians gather at that time? Well the reason is very simple, is that because the magicians do their gatherings, their sacrifices, their rituals far away from people. So they go out the cities and they meet somewhere in the natural place. So because it is uh, when, the, when it is full moon, so it is easy to, to travel, to go and to do everything and to come back. Uh, and you have enough light from the moon that they don't need uh, they don't need electricity or for, from past ages, they don't need to light a fire, everything. So that is a very simple reason, because they gather in the middle of the night in places where no one comes. So in, instead of having to bring the light themselves, they just use the full moon. And also that will give them, uh, that will give them an appointment that everybody knows that is the time they have to gather instead of fixing dates for for gathering. So the jinns of course look forward to this time. So when the moon is getting bigger and bigger in the first half of the month, uh, the, the jinns are getting happy that yes our sacrifices are going to come. So 
when those days are coming, the full moon nights or the days before, we have to use the moon as to catch. So we just look at the moon and think of all the Jews that are looking at the moon, waiting to get sacrifices, hoping to get sacrifices, and we catch them as if the moon was a mirror allowing them to allowing us to catch them. MashaAllah. Now, it happens in the catching all with the patients that the magician himself will speak through the through the catcher or through the patient. So, if it is with the catcher, if with the patient, the situation is different. But talking about catching, as soon as you realize that the, the thing speaking through the patient is not a jinn, it is a human. So, you stop discussing with him and you bring the beast to eat him. That's how we do. Actually, some of my students discuss with them until they convert them to Islam. I don't really know if that has a real effect. I prefer to kill them. I prefer to kill them as much as I can. Uh, now, it happens that when you bring the beast to eat the magician that is speaking through the patient, and he says, no, no, please leave me, we'll tell him, bring all your colleagues. Because usually they are a network. That kind of magician, uh, they do human sacrifices, and they put the human sacrifices together. They put their power together. So they are a group, and usually they will sacrifice a person uh, by turns. And then you can gather to eat human flesh together, etc. So if he starts saying that, oh, please leave me, don't kill me, we tell him, bring all your group. We don't tell him, yes, we'll leave you, or we'll not kill you. But just we will take this opportunity of him being desperate and seeing that he's going to die, to tell him to bring all his group, of course, it is a bit cheating him that we're giving him some hope that, as if we're saying that if he brings his group, so we'll let him go, but we'll not let him go. We've got to kill them all. But that's how it is. They don't have any pity of, no one will not have pity for them. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, when it is the human magician speaking through the catcher, you will see that it is very difficult to convert him and very difficult to to kill him and he's very resistant to Quran. You can eventually kill him by reading and hit him, but that will take very long. Now if the jinn we caught says that the the patient is a magician, is a sorcerer, we don't do nothing about it. We just finish and when we finish, we read فَقَاتِلُ أَوْلِيَا الشَّيْطَانِ Fight the allies of the devil. So if the patient is a magician, the jinns will fight him. If he has not, if he has made toba, so he's gone out of the category of magicians. So the jinns will not attack him. That's all. Now we see the patient, we tell the patient that the jinns, if the patient has heard, we can tell him that the jinns have said that. So if he has done anything wrong in his life, he should repent. And that's it. And we give him... And you give him the treatment. So you must not be afraid because you see this verse Allah says when in al Qurani, we give down a Quran that is a remedy and a mercy for believers and the unjust will only lose more with the Quran. So the Quran is a remedy for everybody, for any person. And it is a rahmah for the believers. So by giving shifa to non believers, we hope that they will get Iman and they will become believers, and they will get the Rahmah. But those who are dhalim, those who are magicians and work with the shaitan, the Qur'an will destroy them. So, if the patient is really a magician, just let the Qur'an do his job. That will destroy him. How can the Qur'an cure him or help him when he is the enemy of Allah? Hmm? When he is working with shaitan. But we just give him advice. If he's done anything wrong, he should repent. Otherwise, just do your treatment and everything will be okay. Now, if when we're doing the catching, the catcher is blocked, so we have to work on him, read and hit and try to understand until he's unblocked and he comes back to normal. So, some people, some new catchers or maybe old catchers, they're not really catching. And they have genes that are making fun of them and making fun of us. Uh, and they're not really catching. It's just the same genes. The person is possessed. 
the same genes come and say the same story for everybody. So how do you realize that? We realize that the catching is the same for anybody and the answers are the same. So that doesn't really make sense. So if that is the if that is the situation, we'll ask more questions to the genes that claim they have converted to confront them and to be sure that uh, that they are they're not really converted and they're not the genes of the patient and that this person is just possessed and his genes have understood the catching and they're just pretending to to be his genes so if that is the case we're going to stop using that person as a catcher and he will come back to the state of patient and we'll continue treating him to remove his genes and everything Now, if you are catching and the gym tells you, or default tells you that you are doing this, you get angry too much, or you are doing this or that, what must you do? Indeed, the gyms do it, and I'm going to tell you a story. I have one patient who came, and he was possessed. That was before the catching, and finally, the gym embraced Islam, and mashallah. So, he, the patient told me that he once was possessed in the mosque, and the people caught him and started reading on him. And he stopped the jinn speaking. The jinn wanted to say that you are reading on me when you robbed the money of the mosque. And you are reading on me when you cheated on your wife. And the jinn wanted to say everything wrong with all those people. But the patient, he held the jinn, he stopped the jinn from speaking, not to, so he does not make a problem in the mosque. You see? So, uh, if you have anything wrong with you, the jinns will love to say it will love to say it because you are reading Quran tell them to become Muslim you tell me to become Muslim or and what and what you are doing this and that and that is that according to Islam mashallah the jinns will love saying that to you so if that happens you must accept you must accept the nasiha and you must change yourself that's what you have to do don't lie don't deny don't try to say but you are careful you are worse than me no 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 accept it yes it's right oh yes yes i am weak oh please give me nasiha jazakallah khair may allah bless you yeah yeah allah help me to change myself and inshallah you change yourself you make a decision you try that's all now if it is something that is that is not important and you're not ready to change yourself that's up to you but with the gyms don't try to cheat it is useless to cheat because he sees so the more you cheat you're getting into more sins and he'll never accept Islam because he'll see that you're just a fake guy and you use Islam to your convenience and when it does, does not uh, when it when it is not in your uh, interest uh, in the interest of your desire you've got to leave Islam so you're just taking it mm, taking it the way you like not the way Allah Ta'ala wants Okay, so when you do the catching, how does it help to touch the catcher? Well, of course, you must not touch females that are not our mahram. That's clear. But otherwise, if uh, it helps to touch the catcher, because the catcher will feel, uh, the, the jinn will feel the light that is in you, the light of Iman, and that will help him become Muslim easier. Now, if your light is not much, that will not help much. But if your light is very strong, that will help. That's how it helps. Now, when we start training a catcher, and when we take a patient that is possessed, and we need to work on that gin uh, until he becomes Muslim, and that can be very long. So, if the gin says Shahada, how do we know that he's really Muslim? So we know he's really Muslim by two things. First, the Quran will not burn him anymore. So if the jinn says, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu an Muhammad Rasulullah, okay, leave me now, leave me now, I've done shahada. So we know it's wrong. Because if he really did shahada, the Quran will not be burning him anymore. So when he says that, we say, yeah, just keep reading shahada, just keep reading shahada. And we continue beating him and reading on him. The second thing is that the jinn is black when he's kafir, he must turn into white. So when he says shahada, we can ask him, how's your body? And if he says black or gray, we say keep repeating shahada till it becomes white, until it's become really white and shiny. That's how we know that the jinn is really Muslim. Baiklah guys, sampai di sini dulu perjumpaan kita. 
Website Syekh Abdurrauf bin Halima ada di www.benhalimaabdurrauf.fr. Silakan bagikan video ini kepada orang-orang yang Anda sayangi. Semoga Allah Ta'ala berikan pahala melimpah kepada Anda. Tambahan dari saya sebagai admin pengisi dubbing video ini. Pesan untuk siapa saja yang terketuk hatinya untuk menerima Islam sebagai agamanya. Silahkan ucapkanlah dua kalimat syahadat, yaitu asyadu ala ilaha ilaullah, wa asyadu ana muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu. Masuk Islam itu sangat mudah dan dosa-dosa kalian sebelumnya akan dihapuskan, seperti bayi yang baru lahir. Semoga bermanfaat. Mari kita tutup dengan doa kafara majelis. Agar amal baik kita kekal sampai hari kiamat dan dosa-dosa kita diampunkan Allah Ta'ala. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdika, asyahadu ala ilaha ila anta astagfiruka wa atubu ilaika. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.